I'm done with the day and it hasn't even begun. Hey loves, it's A back on your screen with another vlog. I hope you guys are all well. Hmm, something seems different. <laughs> I'm just playing. Do you like the new layout setup? Most people who live in these units, because all the ones that are on this side of the building are shaped like this, have their bed like that, according to my building manager. So I've been the only person who rotated the bed the other way. I tried it. I tried this also like six months ago. I thought, you know, maybe something's changed. But no, I had nightmares last night and I'm blaming it on the layout. So at some point today, we're gonna switch this back. <laughs> but I was supposed to be going to brunch right now. And what happened was, me and my brunch buddy got a little too lit last night. <laughs> So neither of us are really up for it. Instead, I'm just going to do like a low key, super late brunch here. I still don't have the milk to make the crepes though. Anyway, look, first time I wore this shirt and the sleeve unraveled. Thank you, Zara. Hey, I had a lot of stuff to do. I am determined. We're going to bake later. If you watched last week's vlog, you already know I had a catastrophe with crepes, but we're gonna get it all sorted out today. I'm gonna make a matcha real quick. Luckily for me, plant insurance is a thing. So maybe I can get it squatted or something more. Ooh, I'm also running low on milk. Okay. Maybe I will go and get a couple groceries while I'm out too. I need to find a place to store this. Maybe, don't try this at home. ones you used to get back back in the day. I got a new pinilla because <laughs> figure one, the most devastating thing about this is out of all the plants, this is the only one that I've had since I moved in. My grandma, when I used to go visit her on Sundays, she'd have some plants hanging and I always loved those ones the most. This one's gonna go here. It's pretty, but I wanted something shooting up and tall so it looks good in the background when I'm doing talking videos. milk instead of regular milk mistake number one and butter was not melted mistake number two I also doubled the butter portion because I half the recipe but I forgot to half the portion of butter no wonder last week's crepes were a bust I can't wait until tomorrow morning <laughs> Round two of crepe making, but first for intake, I'm gonna get a little bit of this stuff to shake, 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 shake. It's supposed to be raining according to the weather network. Yet again, it's completely off. Do I need a straw for this? Do you think it's gross to drink kefir out of a straw? Probably. I have to buy another one, but they only had the regular flavor, and if it doesn't have coconut, it's no bueno. I went to bed at one. I spent two hours responding to comments, so thank you guys for all of you who comment. I need to make a routine or something because I can't be spending two hour chunks of my week replying to comments. Maybe I'm gonna do it like when I work at the office. Every morning, the first thing you do is check your email. So maybe the first thing I'll do is check my comments. I'm so happy people are enjoying the content I'm putting out enough to comment. I really appreciate it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 
downtown to buy a on faucet water purifier i wanted an underwater one and then my friend's like nah i don't think he wants to install it so i'm just gonna get an on sink one and that way i don't have to worry about filling up a pitcher and putting it in the fridge and that taking up space and being ugly at least the on faucet one i have an unlimited amount of course until the filter goes bad do not buy this one i've had it for four years these don't go bad, but it was just, it tastes so fake. But the part where the cap always gets glued shut, even though I wipe it down every time. When they said this was a non-stick pan, they lied. Even when I did my pods this morning, my voice kept psyching out on me. I was not impressed. Raindrop, drip drop. Do you see this? Don't buy frying pans from Amazon, okay? Perfect timing. Patreon pod, responding to comments. I gotta start editing tomorrow's video. I gotta go out and run an errand, but the way the weather is looking, I don't know about that. Um, this is how you know I'm all over the place. I still haven't left. I remember what I need to do. I need to take the water filter. I've been telling you guys that for the last two days. We have to go out at some point. Today. This crepe. Ooh, you can tell I'm excited because I'm out of breath. <laughs> so potent. And also, if I was going to make a cinnamon sugar crepe today, I shouldn't have overbaked the shell. My hair is in a mask right now. It's supposed to be straight by now. Clearly that hasn't happened. I'm not going to do that. I have plans tonight. It's Tuesday. Should we go for tacos? That's so typical. I wish it was sunnier. I also wish it was a Saturday so we'd have an event to go to. Like the jazz club last week was so much fun. I've never done anything like that before and I love that we were sitting front row center. It's so funny. They were selling it as like the worst seat in the house and it was right up at the front. I could actually see the instruments. I couldn't see the people's faces. The last two years, I missed out on a lot of concerts and I told myself before I got more blind, I wanted to do as much as possible that required seeing. But like going to concerts costs a lot of money and to pay that much to be up front and not see, crazy. Am I the only one that spoons my Nutella? I should have done a TikTok of how I make these crepes. I wish that I didn't have a five head so I could always wear my hair up. I think girls who can wear the bun, the slick back bun, or a low ponytail is so pretty and so sophisticated, but so simple. I finished all my errands at home and now I'm on the epic quest to find this water filter. But what aisle would a water faucet filter be in? I have no idea and I can't see the signs. I'm gonna ask somebody. I found faucets. There's some like this and he says this is the only one. So let's try it. Am I seeing that right? The jug is only three dollars less. It's pretty thick though. What I really want to know is why is this the second time that mail has been opened? Last time it was like obviously open. I don't know what's going on. But what I do know is that my friend flops so no tacos tonight. Instead we're going to install this Brita so I can stop drinking the tap water. Yeah, it can't be that hard. Yeah, this is going to be on post. Plastic. I'll zoom in and read the manual later. That's another thing that sucks about being blind. You can't ever just do something. You always have to take your phone, then zoom in, then double check, then maybe even check the thing you're trying to do. Oh well, enough complaining. Let's uh, have some dinner and top this cake. So 
good girl to do. Just keep it moving, right? Okay, so boom. This should take less than two minutes, I hope. <laughs> so now, when it's time to take a shower, I don't have to worry about this. Well, we'll see, it's not even that dirty, but still. Like your grandma's so adorable. I need to visit her more often. Man, it feels 10 times colder now. Looking for a heat protectant spray. There's so many options. Jeff literally brought his iPad. It's <laughs> <laughs> they even told me, like, are we gonna just trap Alicia? Oh, I, I stopped them from breaking. Okay. But they look like hell angels in like 20 minutes. Like <laughs> I'm home. I'm so exhausted, guys. I'm gonna shower and go to bed. Well, I'm gonna wait until my friends get home. It was so good to see Jeff and David today, and they dropped me all the way home so I didn't have to be out in the blizzard. I mean, it's not a blizzard, but it's very cold. I'm so exhausted, not sleeping last night. See? You see? It's really catching up to me. So I'm going to shower and hopefully by the time I get out of the shower, they text me, let me know that they got in okay. And I'm going to zone clonk out. La la land, here I come. I have not been this tired in a minute. I didn't expect to be out all day. I'm so glad that I messaged to check in on him when I was at my great grandma's house. And then that's how I ended up going there after. But then there was like a little buffer period, which is why I was at the hair store. But then I didn't find a hair heat protectant that I liked. There wasn't as many options as I thought there would be. So I'm going to look online. If you have any good recommendations, <laughs> you know I'm tired. If you have any good recommendations, oh, I can also take this off now. It was so trippy wearing these and going down the stairs, the prisms. I was like, what's going on here? I didn't show you this either, but I stopped off at that health food store that I always go to and got some more biotin. And then... All the treats that Jeff and David brought back for me. I'm gonna actually save this and open it tomorrow. There's a bottle in there and a bunch of chocolates and a few other treats and goodies in there. And I thought I'd be able to have them tonight, but I'm so stuffed. And I ate a lot less than I usually do, but I think because I hadn't eaten it in so long, my belly was like, nope. Night, night, guys. These twists are the life. I love them so much. Don't mind my strap. So wait, what am I supposed to do? How is it two two days left of April? It says four, I feel like it's minus something. There's no way, it's so cold in here. Every vlog I complain about the weather, I just need to move, that's what it is. I need to go somewhere more warmer. <laughs> I had a dream about becoming an influencer and moving to ATL. I don't know about the influencer part. I mean, I kinda am, but I hate that term. I don't know, all I know is I'm over the cold, so I'm gonna have da 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 da. Let's have a oop. Let's have a oop, oop, oop. Put down your hair. Look, I'm back on my biotin because it actually works. So, you know, every time I go to see my hairstyle, she cuts way too much off, but it's almost back. I'm about two inches shy of where I used to be. I think I'm gonna cancel my next appointment with her. That makes no sense in complaining. She does such a good job of straightening though. Like my hair is like glass when she's done. But at the same time, it's the inches for me. And she's a little too scissor happy. So I think I'm gonna skip next month. I don't even know if it's in May or June. But whatever time my next appointment is, I don't think I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna nurture my hair on my own, which I did for years. I mean, when I started off YouTube, I was averaging out going to the hair stylist once a year, maybe twice around my birthday. So oh, I need a sifter. I should do a scary story story time. I've had so many paranormal activity type of situations in my life. But maybe I should wait until Halloween, but Halloween is also a long time away. I might not even be doing story times by then. I have a feeling this is gonna be a really sweet matcha, but that's not bad. I need to get today. I wanna get coconut water, I wanna get veggies, I wanna get meat. Well, chicken preferably. I don't really wanna mess with beef. I don't think 
my avocados are about ready. I just don't wanna do what I did last week, which is buy duplicates of things that I haven't even finished now. Oh, I also gotta finish my chia seed pudding. This looks so gross, guys. My crepe press should be warm enough now. Turn it off. Blindly pressing buttons. That's what's up. That's actually really good. I didn't think the caramel would go with the matcha. Thank you. Oh my god, so many tinias. They're so pretty. Perfect, thank you. So beautiful. I like, I don't eat out all that often. Hey, it's Candace. Hola guys, can you tell I've been back for a few hours? I have so much on the go right now, it's insane. I'm meal prepping for tomorrow, having a little, I guess late lunch, early dinner. And actually I can put these here, here. Like I made this tea 20 minutes ago. What a fail. What a fail. This is what happens when you think you're multitasking. Sometimes multitasking isn't the answer. Sometimes you don't get anything done when you're trying to do so many things at once. I looked like a crazy person for a full hour and I came home. I didn't even get to put my groceries away properly because I was already 20 minutes late for me and Candace for the coffee date. We were originally supposed to go uptown to a cafe I've been meaning to go to, but it's so out of the way. I only wanted to go with someone who kind of lives north and she lives north. And then she was running late. I was running late. So we met closer to her work, which is downtown. And I love that cafe. They're so polite there. Meal prep, clean up a little bit, and then I'm gonna start editing, not tomorrow's video, but I think it would be next Wednesday's video. I don't think I'm gonna have a video this Saturday, but we'll see. So it's 7.44, I finished replying to all the comments. I can either A, do my accounting, because I got all my receipts here so I can put it into my Excel sheet, or B, start my laundry. I figured there'll be less traffic on the elevators. I wanted to do it as soon as I got home, but I saw one was out of service and the other one was taking forever and a half. And then there was a third one that I got on and I was like, do I really want to be battling this? Because for me to do my laundry, I have to go down three times, right? Because I go down to drop it. Then I go down to switch it and bring up the stuff that can't be dried in the drying machine and then I go to get it, right? So I was like, all those journeys through rush hour, technically, elevator rush hour. So I was like, mm, I'll wait until later. So I don't know if I should do it now. I love that it's still so bright out. This is my favorite time of year. I can't wait till it's light at 9 p.m. That's my favorite, actually. Whew. This is like the first time in the day that I feel like I got to slow down because ever since I left today, I've just been go, 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 go. I've never rushed this much in my whole life to go to like one part of the city to another part to come back. But I love how peaceful it is. It's so quiet I can hear my diffuser puffing away. Um, this is a lot of laundry. I can't see what you're telling me. This was a full card, I swear. Which year? Ooh. <laughs> Trying my patience. I don't know if you can hear me, but you literally can't make this a shop. I swear I filled this card the last time I did laundry, but I have to fill it again. And still shook by $400 laundry detergent. You know I live in a bougie neighborhood when. It's been a minute since I had a morning like this. My cousin's like, it's still a good morning. I'm like, no, it's a bad morning, but the day might end up being good. It has to, I have to fix my mood before tonight because it's the bridal planning thingy and I don't want to be there with a the funky mood. Probably won't bring you because that's kind of weird. Be like, vlogging, planning, somebody else's bride, uh, somebody else's wedding, bridal party, whatever it's called. Ugh. Guys, I'm sleep deprived. I went to bed after one. That's how long it took me to do the laundry and some of my stuff still wasn't dry. So I was trying to find all these places to hang it up in this voucher to dry it. 
Then when I wake up this morning, I realize I'm missing four pairs of socks. So I go to the laundry room. I had checked the dryer twice before I left. And I did find one missing pair of sock when I went back down. But the other three, the sock monster took it. I have a mesh bag. I'm going to put the socks in from now on. My only thing is, if I wash all the socks in a mesh bag, will they really get clean? Because they're not being, you know, whatever. And then when I come up from the gym, which was full because the max is three people and you know I like to work out alone. I look at my duvet and I'm like, why are there brown spots on it? Tell me that the dryer burnt my duvet. So in addition to not cleaning it properly, it also burnt it right in the middle. I'm done with the day and it hasn't even begun. Still haven't fixed this stupid Brita thing from four days ago. <sighs> you know, I try to be positive and whatever, but like sometimes I'm just so tired of it. Like, why do I have to be positive? Why can't life just work out? I also need to go out at some point and get more milk. Running low, low. My favorite avocado almond butter smoothie. I still can't believe the laundry is more expensive now. Inflation is real. I just got last night. Really good, actually. And needed, considering what went down. Don't you ever feel like that? When one bad thing happens, it's just downhill until you reset. And sometimes your reset is needing to sleep and start all over again. Avocado shouldn't be $2.50. But I mean, the fact that I can afford avocados is a blessing, which apparently this is a berry. I never knew that. The more you know. But some people can't afford to buy fresh fruit in certain parts of the country or they live in food deserts. So I'm grateful. But that doesn't mean I don't want more, you know? It's kind of like the same debate that I had with friends. They're not my friends. Years ago, like 10 plus years ago. Not 10 plus, I would say maybe like eight years ago. It was around when I was first diagnosed, but I was in my denial stage. A lot of people would be like, oh, you shouldn't be buying clothes or makeup. And granted, I shouldn't have buy been buying as much. Looking back, I definitely agree to that. I definitely went hard with those MAC collections for no reason. But on the other hand, I need some dates. On the other hand, just because I'm losing vision doesn't mean I can't enjoy the pleasures of life. There goes the fridge rumbling away. And I realize this fridge is louder than most because when I was at my great grandma's house the other day, which I have to call her today because it's her birthday, hers was way quieter than this. So I don't know if it's because this is an older model. She has like a stainless steel one, but hers was from years ago. And this fridge was brand new when I moved in four years ago. That's super weird. As you saw guys, I went out for a bit, got a little bit of sun, it's warming up, trying to boost my mood a little bit, you know? Simultaneously though, should I have sparkling water or orange juice? Orange juice doesn't really go with Caribbean food, but whatever, I'll have the orange juice. <laughs> if the construction stops in time, I will have a ginger beer when I'm filming the video later today. Otherwise, it'll be another bad thing to add to the list if I can't film today because of the noise. <sighs> I think they're renovating another unit. <laughs> I might not be able to get any work done today. That's okay. Today started off pretty badly, so I'm not surprised, but I stopped off and I got some jerk chicken and rice and peas. Much better than the jerk chicken I made earlier this week. I'm gonna pour this into here, so at least it's more aesthetic. But before I do that, where's my... Okay, I think this needs to be shaken. I feel like this week was kind of a fail in a lot of ways. <laughs> And maybe Friday is just the culmination of everything or I'm just being emo for no reason. I literally cannot believe it is 2022, end of April. I did notice when I used to go with my guy friend, they would give me more food. Anytime I go alone, I get smaller pieces. Afternoon guys, my gym session was okay. Don't you love this bottle opener? It's the best. I used to cook in my ginger beer, which surprise, surprise, I didn't even drink half of while I was filming. I don't know why I pour drinks before. I do my videos because I talk, I chat too much to be able to sip a little bit. I'm gonna make a coffee because I'm exhausted. I didn't sleep well last night. So that makes three nights of tossing and turning. My thoughts are just terrorizing me at this point. I just pray that today is a better day than yesterday. Yesterday was so shit, we're not getting into it. In fact, I'm just gonna put it out there. I think I'm gonna take a little break from vlogging. It's not you, it's me. That sounds like such a bad breakup line, but seriously, uh, 
I, there's just some, sh let me not swear. There's just some things I need to focus on and not to say I can't while I'm vlogging because you guys see how much I get done during the day. It's just pulling out a phone. No one can ever tell me vlogging is hard. I don't care what anyone says, unless you're doing the most with angles and edits. If you're just straight talking to the camera and being like, I'm making coffee now while doing all these things. No, it's easy AF. But energetically, I'm not drained, but I feel deranged. I feel like there's shit off camera that I need to sort out in my life. And who knows, maybe tomorrow I'll be like, whatever, let's just keep going. Or maybe I need a day or maybe I need a week. I won't be gone too long and I'll always have my regular content. So I just wanted to give you a heads up though. Anywho, as per usual, the multitasking bandit is added again. This is why I never get one thing done. Is that even the right cap? The maca pot is maca potting. This orange is from when I made the cake and I'm like, it's stinking up my fridge. Eat it, what's wrong with you? Point of the story is I gotta clean up a little bit. It says 12 degrees, but if you could feel my fingertips or can you see my goosebumps? You probably can't see my goosebumps, can you? I'm cold. <laughs> so I don't even know if I'm gonna wear this outfit for lunch later, but I'll see you then. Happening. What do you mean? It smells very fresh though. First dips. Their guac is good. Mine is better than yours. Mine is good now. How many departments are there? My favorite thing about the end of the month is out with the old, in with the new. I don't know about you, but I don't like keeping toothbrushes for more than two months. Even that's pushing it. Every month I usually switch it. This is one from the dentist. It works so much better than this. I can already tell the bristles, A1. Hey, -hoo. the late lunch, early dinner was so much fun with David. Always good vibes. But now I'm gonna do a little shower session, moisturize, because my fit, skin feels so dry. It was so cold out there. I didn't think they'd see us on the patio. That's some real Canadian type of thing to do. Anywho, I'm a shower, have some tea, a little piece of cake. Only when I was on my way home did I realize, shoot, I was supposed to pack cake for David. So the next time I bake the cake, I'm gonna try to time it so that it's the same day I see him so he gets it extra fresh. By the time I see him next, that cake ain't gonna be fresh and I don't wanna give it to him. So I went to bed, I'm like, I didn't say bye to you guys and I don't know when I'll be back. I mean, we'll still have the regular content. One thing I love about new months new makeup it's time to switch out that mascara anywho if you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did let me know what your favorite part was down below i hope to be back to my vlog schedule soon but like i said yesterday i just need a little break to recoup and get my ish right so i hope you guys understand and in the meantime check out my other content comment down below what you like to see in Turum. and until next time stay safe stay sane stay blessed love and later <laughs> meanwhile me trying to do my mascara multitask right <laughs> <laughs>